Hi guys, welcome to the second episode of Imaginary Makeup. I look a lot more dramatic than I normally do, and that's because this week we're actually going with a girl's look. This is going to be from the ex-girlfriend video by No Doubt. I loved Gwen Stefani's makeup in this, and I really wanted to try it out. So for this next episode, that's exactly what we're going to do. If you can see, this look has a lot of pink and purple and whites in it. So these colors are very accessible. I made sure that I can make sure you can get your hands on all of the colors that I use. And don't forget, if you want to check out the product list, they're all below. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and start getting into the tutorial. All right, guys, to start off, we're going to prime our eyelids. I'm using NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. We're going to apply it right below the brow bone and then blend it out with a flat angled brush. Next, we're taking a matte white eyeshadow and we're using it to set your NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is also going to give you a more powdery surface so you can blend a little bit better as well. Using a sheet of paper or any kind of straight surface that you have, we're taking in a hot pink eyeshadow and for this one I'm using La Femme's Fuchsia in the Press Shadow Collection. I'm taking it and we're mapping out a line that we're going to go from the outer corner of your eye straight to your hairline. Then we're going back in with that same shadow and blending from the crease and bringing it down into blend in with that line. Now using the same technique as before, we're going in with a darker pink. This one is actually a blush on rouge that I got from La Femme and it's called Framboja. We're taking it from the center crease and blending it back out into the line to make it darker as well. Now for the third color in your crease. We're taking a dark purple and going on the outer crease and winging it out a little bit into the line as well. We're only taking it as far as to make a small cat eye with it. The color I'm using is the deep purple from the Sinful Colors Triple Eyeshadow Palette in Restless. All right, we're breaking out the NYX Jumbo Pencil in white again and applying it to your eyelids. To go ahead and help set this, I used a New York Color Loose Eye Powder in Frosty Shimmer just to give it a little bit of pearlized effect, and I even went back under my brow bone and applied this there as well just for a little bit more shimmer. Right below the sharp line that we've created with our pinks and purples, we're taking a white eyeliner and defining from the outer corner straight along the base of that line. I went ahead and took that pearlescent shimmer powder and went ahead and set that as well, just because it's going to make it a little bit brighter and I don't want it to smear. I've already went ahead and lined my waterline. I don't film that because I think it looks really gross. So now what we're taking is we're taking our frosty shimmer powder again and on a smaller brush I'm applying it right on the cheekbone and we're going to bring it down into almost a triangle from the cheekbone to the lip. As you can see here I misgage my cheek so what I'm doing is taking the card again and going from the top of my ear to my lip and we're taking that blush on rouge and framboja and creating a harsh angled line and we're going to blend it up into the shimmer powder. If you need to, go ahead and apply some more shimmer powder to help blend that out. Now we're taking a black liquid liner and we're lining the upper eyelid and bringing it out into a cat eye. It's going to be extended to the edge of the purple color that we put on. We're also going to be applying this underneath the waterline, making a straight line from the middle of your eye, and we're bringing it and running it parallel to the cat eye on the top. Again, to save time, I went ahead and put on my fake eyelashes off camera. If you're interested, these are the number 80 from Bliss from their Dramatic Collection. They run about $1.99 in most beauty supply stores. And the lipstick I'm putting on now is Milani Lipstick in Rosehip. It's my favorite lipstick. It's the most hot pink lipstick you will find out there. And to top it off, I'm putting on Milani Lip Glaze in Pink Punch. Unfortunately, this is no longer sold in stores, but I can still buy it on eBay. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. And to finish off the look, we're taking the liquid eyeliner again and putting in the dotted teardrop. Alright guys, 
guys, we're at the end of the tutorial, and before I want to let you go, I wanted to show you how I went from having brown to pink without using any hair dye. So if you're still interested in that, it's going to be at the end of the video. If not, go ahead, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to go wash this off. Until next time, guys.